Hello everyone! I believe we're streaming, I believe we are live. Oh, hold on. That camera was a little, a little wonky. Everything is, everything's a little, a little wonky. When I don't go live for a couple of days, things get, things get a little wonky, but it's easy to fix. Hello everyone! Happy Tuesday. I'm uh, super happy that everyone is able to join me this evening. Let me pop out the live chat real quick just so that it's easier for me to see. Uh, I mean, I guess it's with with multiple screens, it's it's never going to be super easy to, to see what's going on because um, uh, with multiple screens, it's always going to be <laughs> it's always going to be tricky to figure out where to look at and what to see. So hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome. 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 Come on in. Come on in. There's plenty of room. Uh, filter on in. Uh, hello, Robin. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Tina. Hello, Patty. Hello, Donna. Hi, everyone. Hello, Penny. Hello, Marlene. Hello, Tina. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jerry. I decided to be... I decided for blue this evening. Although I'm not feeling blue. I'm feeling great. <laughs> but I, I decided that blue... Uh, I thought, I thought blue might be nice. I mean, I started, there was, originally it was the purple color. And I, oh, let's do purple. Luckily, we can change it to whatever wee color we want. Oh, hello, Gypsalina. Hello from freezing, snowy Texas. Yeah, I know. Uh, Gyps, I heard that you Texans are having a real tough time down there, and I do feel bad for you. But uh, here uh, in the north, uh, like where I live, it's, I mean, today it is... What is t it is 19 degrees. It was nine degrees when I woke up and I, I was ready to put on a swimsuit. <laughs> so we're very used to it, but I know that you're not, you're not used to, you're not used to it. So I know it was, it was quite a shock. Hello, Lori. Hello, everyone that's joining in. So, all right. So I'm super excited that all of you are here with me this evening because uh, I have a couple of things. Um, one thing that I want to share with you. And then two is uh, something really exciting that is going on right now at Brutus Monroe. So today at good old Brutus Monroe headquarters, we, um, it was negative eight this morning. Yeah, it was, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, we're not, I don't think we're supposed to get snow, any more snow here really, but it's, it's negative two. Oh, you, you definitely win. In Texas, you definitely win. Hello, my beautiful Dion. So, today at Brutus Monroe, we added over 100 brand spanking new products to our website. So, I want to introduce everyone uh, that is uh, here that has not been... Uh, that has not been here before, or that is not uh, that has is a new watcher, or is watching this in the future. Hello, Maria. Um, hello, my name is Christopher Allen, and I am the proud CEO and founder of a company called Brutus Monroe. Uh, we uh, just celebrated six years of being in business, and uh, it gets more and more exciting and more and more fun every single day. So uh, we have decided at the the middle of last year that there are several products that we just are never going to be interested in trying to produce produce or recreate uh, and we uh, think that um, working together with other brands is much much better than trying to constantly do what other brands are doing so uh, my goal is to this year bring in about 5,000 new products to Brutus Monroe that are not under the Brutus Monroe name so we'll probably bring in about a thousand Brutus Monroe products this year uh, that are under the Brutus Monroe name but about 5,000 total that are not Brutus Monroe branded because we have so many incredible, um, so many incredible things coming. So, with that being said, we've had a lot of questions about the Brutus Bucks program. And I'm happy and proud to say that you will earn Brutus Bucks on every single purchase that you make at BrutusMonroe.com. What does that mean to you? So, what that means is once you reach a certain tier at BrutusMonroe.com, you will be able to get uh, exchange points for Brutus Bucks. The Brutus Bucks can be used currently on Brutus Monroe branded products. We are working very closely with our retail partners to uh, be able to offer Brutus Bucks on other products in the future. It's just right now, it does not make sense uh, financially. So it's 
it's it's a lot it's lots of graphs and uh, graphs and spreadsheets and all different ways that we make sure that Brutus Bucks make sense because obviously we can't give away uh, we can't give away everything. If we did, we wouldn't be in business and we wouldn't be able to provide you with the great products that we do. So with that being said, you are able to get. Um, Brutus Bucks on every single purchase you make. So if you make a $250 purchase, and that's just a number that popped in my head, or let's say $253.86 purchase at BrutusRenault.com, and let's say you don't buy a single item that's Brutus Renault. It's going to be tough, I can tell you that, to not find something Brutus Renault branded that you love, that you that you must have. But let's say you, uh, let's say you purchase that. Uh, you are going to get points for every single item. Those points start to add up. And what's great about that is no matter what you buy at Brutus Monroe, you are going to get those points as long as you are signed up for the Brutus Bucks program. We just had an incredible Brutus Bucks uh, member the other day, which I should say is a free, it's a completely free, uh, free uh, thing to join, free program, uh, that was able to, I mean, I want to say... I think that they got like $150 worth of stuff for free. She's been saving them up for a while, but what's great is if you're a subscriber, you get that order in every month, so they just keep adding up. It's really, really cool. Um, she wants to be surprised, but now I cannot wait for Staycation to be here. I know. I can't wait either. We have five spots left for Staycation, uh, and that is it. Once those five spots sell out, they are sold out. Please tell your friends. Ask your friends if they would like to. Um, the only reason I'm saying that is we already have the... We, we added more spots, obviously, in the five. these five of the last ones. Uh, but the kits are already made. <laughs> we really don't want to disassemble the kits. So uh, someone can take it, obviously, after that as well. Uh, after the, the staycation, it will still be available. But uh, see if any of your friends would, um, would like to. Um, you would love the cam in the video. Oh, you mean... Like this, Gyps? <laughs> you know me better than that, Gyps. Um, uh, but anyway, so yes, so on to... Oops, I always turn my, my flashlight on by accident. Look at how good this picture it took of little Benson, Benson and Minnie. Today's Minnie's birthday. She's two. Terrible twos. She's been living the terrible twos for forever. Um, so anyway... So, like Penny said, I don't know how to use my Brutus Bucks when checking out Pam. All you're going to do is make sure that you are signed out of your account. Hopefully that will be changing mid-year this year. Um, because the, uh, the, once the, we're, we're trying to get it so you don't have to sign out. But right now you still have to sign out. So, you have to be signed out of your account. You will use your, you will go to checkout and put your Brutus Bucks in the discount section or the coupon code section, and it will wipe it off of everything. Hello, Kara. It'll wipe it off of everything that it is uh, that is eligible. There is a little a little um, Brutus Bucks thing up in the corner that will say if something is Brutus Bucks eligible. Uh, right now, we are currently working on. We have a new employee starting next Monday. Or this upcoming Monday, I guess. Uh, Megan is her name. She's my cousin. And she is going to be working very diligently on updating tags, updating uh, categories, updating. So it'll be it'll be much, much easier. But today, we added a little over 100 products. Those um, sprinklets, I think is what they're called. Sprinklets, right? So today, I will share with you. Today, we were waiting on quite a few orders, quite a few products to come in, and we were sitting in my office, and Michael uh, came into my office, and we were really, really excited, because I don't know if a lot of you have seen, uh, I think I posted on my personal uh, Facebook, but I could post it on the other one. Um, we got our signage today. Uh, so, our the, the the bottom level of Rudis Monroe, which is the... Um, the ground level of Brutus Monroe. So we have four, three floors, excuse me, three floors of Brutus Monroe. And hello, Michael. And the signage came today uh, that is the directory. So it tells everyone. So when we have guests again, which, Lord willing, when we can have uh, guests again at Brutus Monroe, it's kind of a, um, a directory to tell everyone uh, or tell guests where everyone is. So like the first floor is... Um, manufacturing in the kitchen and the um the manufacturing the kitchen the loading dock all of that my office and then the second floor is retail laser mini monroe uh, fulfillment all of that and then the third floor is uh michael and heather uh so uh it's it's kind of a guide so that came first and i was really excited about that because we've been i feel like we've been waiting uh, forever for that because it's soon that level is going to be done and that'll get put up 
Uh, but then Michael just started coming in with more and more boxes, and I was like, oh, okay, I said, is that that and is that that so the so heather of, of course miss heather collins uh our director of operations of brutus and row uh came downstairs we, we knew she was going to be very very shortly after uh michael brought the boxes in uh she showed up magically in my office and we had a lot of fun this afternoon going through everything um that came in so i can tell you right now that only about half of the uh, half of the buttons galore, uh, buttons and more, buttons galore, uh, galore buttons, whatever that brand is. I'm sorry if, if that brand is watching this that I'm, I'm massacring your name. But uh, you have fantastic products, even if I can't uh, remember exactly the, the, kind of the, the way that your name is, uh, is pronounced. I think it's buttons galore. Um, do you, uh, sorry, I typically hoard lower the points for... Um, Tina, they do not... Ex so, let me explain. So, the Brutus box... The Brutus points will expire if you don't place an order within 30 days. Is that correct, Michael? Michael, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but you have to place an order every 30 days. If you place an order every 30 days, they just keep adding up, adding up, adding up, adding up, adding up. You just have to place an order. And the reason being is... If we allowed Brutus Bucks points to continue to... Add, buttons galore, that's it. If we allowed Brutus Bucks points to just keep on adding up and adding up for every single person that places an order, one order on our website, we, we don't... We wouldn't... Oh, three months. Oh my goodness, that's great. So every three months, you have to place an order. If you place an order every three months, that will allow you uh, to, to, to accumulate your points. With that being said, if we let uh, people that didn't place an order every three months, it just keep accumulating. We just don't have the bandwidth. We don't have the space. We don't have the ability to keep all of those records and information. Um, we're not Amazon. Uh, we, we just can't keep all of that. So it's just uh, you just keep on um, keep on adding them up as long as you place an order every three months. Um, and yes, once you redeem the points for a coupon, the coupon never will expire. They never, ever, ever expire. Yeah, so as long as you place an order once uh, once a quarter, right? Yeah, once a quarter. Yep. Uh, does the inspiration boxes count? They sure do, Nikki. They absolutely do. All of your subscriptions count, which is great. And as a subscriber, you get extra points. I think you get two points for every dollar you spend. I don't know. I'm going to have to I'll have to look into that. Uh, but anyway, so this afternoon, uh, we had the, the pleasure of going through... Um, now that I have the app, I know the app is great, isn't it? It's uh, the app is fantastic. Um, hi, Mary. So uh, we added all the sprinklets today, uh, which are did you? First of all, y'all have to go look at the sprinklets because there are these little Easter bunny eggs or Easter eggs, I think they're called. And um, listen, Maria, we don't listen, and we love you for it. We love. Wait till you can come into the store again. Wait till you see. You're not going to recognize the store, Maria, when you come in. You're really. I think you're really going to be. You're really going to love it. Um. So the the. Let me tell you. Do y'all want to know? You probably don't even care. But let me tell you what my favorite ones are. <laughs> so my favorite ones are, and I feel like I haven't talked to you forever. So uh, I'm just gonna. We're gonna chat real quick. So I'm gonna go uh, real quick to the Brutus Monroe app. Whoopsies. So this is how it pulls up on mine. So look, so this is the app. The app is absolutely incredible. Uh, so these are all of the new products. So let's just let's just look at these real quick, shall we? Um, so I'm obsessed with Bunny Tail, Bunny Trail. Do you see these? You can zoom. Look at those <laughs> little bunnies. I love them so much. I love I love our app. I really do. Uh, also, these I can't get enough of them. Look at these. I did have a very good time. It was a very good day, Jen. It was a really good day. I mean, I have I, I ninety percent of the ninety percent of the time I'm having a good day because I just I love what I love, love, love what I do. Uh, what are some other ones? Oh, I really loved these ones that I saw when I saw them today. These are the penguins. If you love penguins, look at those. Um, let's see. So also, let me see some other ones that I was looking at today. Oh, of course the Hocus Pocus ones. I mean, I know it's not that time of year, but come on. Aren't they perfect? And look how easy it is to go and, and purchase things on the app. It's almost dangerous. And then these are what I'm going to be showing you tonight. These are those Aurora, Aurora Flakes. But look, we also got uh, a whole bunch of Creative Expressions dies and stamps. And oh, we got these and these are going to be gone really, really quick. 
I mean, just because of me, they're going to be gone very, very quick because I want two of them. Um, we got some new Pink Fresh dyes. Uh, we got this new Art Impressions. I thought this is hilarious. It says, what does age appropriate mean anyway? Isn't that hilarious? I love this too. Um, then we have, uh, look at the Hero Art stuff. Oh, I have this on my desk. This is the new Contour Ink. We just got it in. Um, but yeah, we have, uh, so much stuff. So much new stuff. Look, I mean, my goodness, it just goes on and on and on. It just keeps going. But this is the perfect segue because this is what I'm about to show you. So this is the kit that is available right now. There's not that many left of them, so I want to show you that before we get into the, um... Oh, there's so candy. <whistles> Wait, and I... The thing is, they don't... It's so hard because they do not look like... They don't look anything, um... I don't want to say they don't look anything like... The picture doesn't do any justice, is what I'll say. They are beautiful. I mean, they're just, they're absolutely stunning. So Contour Ink is a, it's a smooth, lightened, does that say lightened? Light toned. Um, it's a, the smooth, light toned hybrid ink is ideal for no line coloring techniques and general stamping applications. Works with alcohol markers, color pencils, and watercolors. So it's like a, I think it's like a light gray ink. We're going to use this tomorrow on the live. Um, the name of the kit is, um, Love Spring. Spring Love. Love Spring. Um, so this is the contour ink, so we're going to use this tomorrow. I think I'm going to use a pink fresh, uh, stamp tomorrow. We're going to do some watercoloring or something. I want to do some sort of watercoloring. So that's the contour ink. Uh, so anyway, so let's look at the kit real quick, and then we're going to get into the cosmic shimmers. And I don't have everything for the kit home, because... I didn't bring home the stamp. You'll actually get a stamp and enamel dots as well, but I didn't. Um, I didn't bring that home. So this is the kit. It is our. It's our only Easter kit because remember we don't do an Easter slash like bunny themed kit anymore because not everyone celebrates um, Easter, and so we just do more like spring stuff. But this is this is definitely uh, definitely Easter. Okay, so let's take a look here. So first of all, in the kit. You are going to receive... Oh, I love this. So this is the... Hold on. I feel like there was something... Hmm, maybe not. Okay. So this is this kit. It's $49.99, and it comes with... So this is, the, this is a Color Me sheet. It comes with a die. Um, and look at this little sheet. So this is a sheet that you can color, okay? And then the die cuts out the eggs. So do you see that? See? Let me see if I can do a close up. So see that it cuts out, cuts out the, cuts out the um, little color. So you can color that in, and you can cut that out. So that's right out of the gate. It's just a really cool thing. Then you're going to receive. I'm going to try to make sure I put all of this away correctly, because this is a kit. Someone's going to get this kit. Then you get this ephemera pack, and I'm going to regret opening this. I just know I am, because I can never get everything back in the way that it came out, but we'll try. So you get this full ephemera pack. Um, oh, we got it. All right, so... Uh, there's different really cute things in here like Happy Easter, will work for jelly beans. Uh, look at this little, bu oh wait, I could show you under the, let's go to the close-up cam. So, um, there's the little hip-hop, the little bunny, hippity-hoppity, egg hunt, admit one. Uh, there's like these little, um, these little frames that all match. Just so much cute stuff, so, so much cute stuff. So, this uh, ephemera pack has... Hold on, let me see. This ephemera pack has... Oh, does it say? Well, it might not say how many pieces. Oh my goodness, it doesn't say. At least I can't see it. Uh, it's. We'll just say it's a lot. It's a lot of pieces. It's a lot of pieces. It is... That, that is very true, Mary. I agree. I couldn't agree more. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this back in. Oh my goodness, I got it into the first try. So you get the full ephemera pack, so you get this. Uh, this was a free gift, yes, this was this was a free gift. Uh, I think it was like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, three weeks ago, yep. Uh, then you are going to get, um, and luckily, luckily I was able to pull the free gift fast enough because I forgot that they were going in this kit and we almost ran out. <laughs> Uh, so you're going to get some of our beautiful, this is our polka stripe paper. Um, you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sheets of the polka stripe paper. This will work really, really well with this die die cut as well. Isn't that cool? Because you can cut out the little, the little eggs. Then you are going to get the egg, uh, the egg dyed egg, um, the dyed egg stencil. So as you can see, it's a layering stencil. We've been really into layering stencils lately. And you have just the eggs or you have the decoration for the egg too. Or you could just use this. I mean, you, listen, create your own ending. So you get that, that stencil set. You will also receive... Hello, Roller Derby! You can add some Jelly Belly candy to my box. Just pretend that you somebody delivered it. I like that. I, that's, that's fun. I wish, actually, we... we I can't tell you why we, we just... Um, we have a candy... We, we now work with a candy supplier, but that would be something fun. Uh, so this is the Bunny Trail uh, sticker set. You get this whole sticker set. My goodness, is there a lot in here? Uh, it says Easter, Easter, Spring, Love My Peeps. Hippity hoppity. There's a whole bunch of little eggs at the bottom. Just a great, great thing. Uh, she's not in roller derby. She's, she, she's, uh, there's, she's not allowed to be in roller derby. She, 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 she barely made it from the, um, from the microwave to the, to the, um, to the kitchen table today at Brutus and Rowe without knocking over the, the, um, a chair. Um, her child is in roller derby. Her child is in roller derby. Not, not her. Okay, so this is, uh, so this is the, I bought you penguin sprinklers. Oh, penguins, I love it. Okay, so this is uh, from the Bunny Trail. So you get this 12 by 12 paper. This is Duck, Duck, Goose. So it stripes on this side. Oh, she is bad for the microwave. And then this is, uh, look at the little goose, the gooses. Look at how cute. Do a close up. I love them. She is. Uh, she decided to make shrimp lo mein today. I could smell it in my office. And then I went into the kitchen and I was passed out. Um, this is called, this one is Easter Parade from Bunny Trail. And now the other side of this one, I'm obsessed. Look at these, look at these carrots. I can't get it up. How good with this? Did you say photo play folio is in the kit? Not in this kit, but in Michael's class. Did she set fire like Ryan the top? No, she didn't. She, uh, she, she, yeah. Yeah, they are. It's, it's a really, it's a really cool, cool derby thing. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a shrimp in the microwave fan, so, um, I'm not really, it's not that I'm not a seafood fan, it's just, um, I don't know about shrimp in the microwave, it just, it was a little bit fresh, <laughs> it was a little fresh, that's all. Um, so this is, uh, this one is called Egg Hunt, and it has little eggs, and then of course the plaid, and then we have Hoppy Easter. Yes, the dog folios love... Thank you, Michael, for keeping me on task. The dog lover's folio class. It includes the stamps and the dyes and the folio. It did. It smelled like... It, it was It was, It was. was not cute, Darren. Okay, so this is Hoppy Easter. Look at this with the spring and the hippity hoppity and the hoppity, hoppy Easter and color me happy. Easter wishes and butterfly kisses. This is great. And then this side has jelly beans. We do have a jelly bean stencil coming. We, have a, we, ha, we do have... Uh, bumps a lot that's that is accurate um just as a heads up uh a a lot um did you ask did, did i need you to, did you ask your iphone how to spell a lot um every day heather will I, i'll hear heather say hey siri how do you spell 
Oh, what? Was it something? Okay. Nope. I found this nope. On the website, Don't even. You spell? That was an invasion of privacy. Um, spring flowers. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's really pretty. That side too. Yes, I couldn't resist. I signed up for both Maria's and Michael's class. Yeah, Michael's class is gonna. I mean, wait till you see. Wait till you see the Mike, Michael's class. I think I'm gonna take Michael's class because. I um I want to make a I want to make a little book for with Minnie for Minnie Monroe and Benson James. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so this is hippity hoppity. Happy Easter! Spring is in the air. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. Happy Easter, little duckies. Wishing you Easter blessings. And then look at this back. It says hippity hoppity. Oh, I love it. Oh, and then this time, for the first time, you are getting plain paper, uh, 12 by 12 plain paper. So, this is, and these colors are beautiful. Look at how pretty. My word. So much paper. Just works really, really well. But yeah, we do have, we have a couple of spring stencils coming. Look at how pretty. So, I love it. Super pretty. So, that is everything that I have at home. You're also going to get... Oh, Penny, we'll do something for cats, too. Michael has cats, too. It's just dog time right now, because um, um, we will have we will create our own embellishments with stamps and dies. <whistles> okay, all right. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Um, but, yeah, you're also getting a stamp in this kit, and you're getting um, enamel dots in this kit. And you're getting an enamel pin. Yes. It's one of my favorite movies, too. Yeah, cats will get some love, too. They do have a cat collection. We just haven't, um... It's just the dog collection just came out. Oh, and y'all, the new doodle bug... Um, Henry is the baby. Um, the new doodle bug just came out. It's already been ordered. <laughs> just wait till you see. Wait until you see. I'm excited. Okay. So let's get started and let's talk about these. So these are the, some, it's first of all, something brand new to Brutus Monroe. Let's flip them over this way. They're much prettier this way. So these are the Aurora Flakes from our, our now our dear friends at, um, some things are, are given in life. You can't sanitize the fish. You cannot, you can hold the door for people, say please, thank you, yes, yes, sir. It's correct. You really can't sanitize the fish. Okay, so what do you like better, original or remake? I like the original much, much better. The remake was, there was just, um, it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, okay, so these are the um, Aurora Flakes. Now, I will tell you, um, there's a couple already open here, because I couldn't resist. I had to try them before I came on the live. Um, I just had to. So, this is what they look like. I'm going to show you a close-up. Uh, so this is what they look like in the, and I don't know why this, is this camera not going to catch up? I don't know what's going on with this camera. Um, maybe it's not plugged in all the way. But anyway, so this is, this is what they look like. I don't know what's going on with our close-up cam tonight. Oh well, I'll show you on here. So this is what they look like. Isn't that cool? Uh, so... These are, uh, this is, how many are there, Michael, refresh my memory, I know you just told me this afternoon. 12 colors? I think there's 12 colors. Yeah, I think. He'll tell me if I'm wrong. 12 colors. Uh, so I have, uh, all of my favorites, Golden Onyx, the only one that I don't have that's, uh, my favorite is, I think it's called Garden Fairy, Fairy Garden, something like that, something, fairies. Uh, so we have Golden Onyx, Rainbow Sherbert, Jade Gold. Golden Rose, and I think my favorite auto, this is Confetti. So let me show you what they look like when they're open. Oh, 12, yeah. So they are flakes, millions and millions of flakes. So I'm going to show you how you, um, how you use them. So I use them two different ways, and that's how I'm going to show you how to use them tonight. And I just love them, love them, love them, love them. I really have been into them. So this is the first example, and this is what the first thing we're going to make is. So this is a... So look at how they look when they're... So this is... And it's kind of going to be hard to see with the background. Let's see if this will catch up now. Oh, it's better now. See how they like kind of are faded in there? It's really cool. And then we have the heart. So I did this heart as well. 
going to be kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can show it on here. It's going to be hard to see because it's so shining, shimmering, splendid. See all that? It's just insane. Okay, so those are those two. So I still have my pieces already out ready to go. So what you're going to do first is you are going to first need a box. This is my suggestion to you. So this is, you do not need a heat gun. All you need is something sticky. My suggestion is to grab yourself a box. Now, the reason for the box is it's going to get messy. Keep it inside of the box. Keep it in the box because it's just, it's going to make your life so much easier. And I just promise you, get yourself a box. I didn't use a box the first time and I look like, um, I look like I just, uh, I, let's just, I was covered in glue. I was covered. I was covered from head to toe tonight. I had to literally, I had to like literally vacuum myself because I, it just trust me, get yourself a box. This just happens to be the bottom of an inspiration box. I know that so many, um, so, so many of you have, uh, have inspiration boxes, cut the bottom of it off. That's, this is the perfect vestibule for that. So get yourself a box, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. So I am going to—I mean, it's going to get messy if you don't—if you don't keep it contained. That's all. Uh, so let's go ahead, and we are going to grab a butterfly. So let's see. So I used that butterfly. Let's use this butterfly this time. So we'll use this guy here. This is from the Brutus Monroe butterfly set, one of our newer sets. There's not very many of these left, so. If you wanna, if you are interested in the butterflies, I will grab them soon. I mean, we will be getting a restock at some point, just not. I mean, it won't be like real, real quick once they're gone. Oh, that's a good. That is, it will make a good. Oh, a great spray box, I think, is what you mean. All right, so let's move these out of the way. Let me grab mine. This will also the Brutus Monroe. Um, the Brutus Monroe. What is this? Um, microfiber cloth will also become your best friend because it will wipe everything away. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. There we go. Um, it is actually from st uh, the stamp market. We're hoping that we can get them in to uh, wholesale them to you. Oh, Dollar Tree dish pans. That is a great idea. Hmm. That is great. Okay, so what we're going to do is we also are going to need a die cutting machine of choice. We are going to need some Brutus Monroe cover all, Brutus Monroe cover all, um, I know what it's called, hold on, cover all adhesive, I'm just looking for uh, a piece of cardstock, I don't know what color I want to use, um, cover all adhesive, oh look at these new, oh my goodness I forgot all about these, I'm going to have to use those too. Alright, so I think I want to use... What color do I want to use this time? The one that I didn't open yet. Well, let's use this one. Rainbow Sherbert. We'll use Rainbow Sherbert for this one. And then maybe Golden Rose for this one. So we're going to use Rainbow Sherbert, which looks like this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use... I think... Let's use some of... Um, well... Should we do... Should we do... Oh, I don't know. Let's do this color, because it'll be quite a bit of contrast. So I believe that is the... Oh, I'm going to get in trouble, because I know that I'm not going to remember. I know I'm not going to remember the name of this one. This is the... T uh, I'm not even going to try. Maria, I know you know... You can use glitter blue. You can. Maria, I know you're going to be able to remind me. Bermuda? Bermuda? Is it the Bermuda one? Maria, you'll be able to remind me. All right. I love it, Nikki. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop this in. We're going to take, so remember, 99% of, of the Brutus Monroe uh, dyes will have a shadow layer, so we're going to do the shadow layer first. I think I want to say it's Bermuda. Isn't it Bermuda? No, I don't know. Soon when I have them all labeled in the new craft space, I will know. Um, all right, so first we're going to cut out our shadow layer, then, whoops, and for, then we're going to drop our shadow layer. Hold on. Hold on. Got it. Then we are going to cut out our top layer. 
And we are going to use our adhesive sheet for that. Cause Oh, sea urchin, that's it. My goodness, I was way off. Sea urchin, that's it. Why do I keep wanting to call it Bermuda? Do we have a Bermuda? Why do I want to keep saying Bermuda? I don't know why. I can't tell you. Sea urchin, that's it. Sea urchin. Why can I never... Now I'm never going to forget it now. Maria got it right. Maria th th helped me with it last time, so that's why I knew. I don't know why I call want to call it Bermuda. We're going to have to have a Bermuda. Michael... We have to find. We have to do a Bermuda. This is all there is to it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is put this to the side. Grab this guy. I de uh, vacation. Yes, long needed. Okay. So we're gonna pop this out very simply. Remember the Brutus Monroe. Uh, the Brutus Monroe coverall adhesive was specially made to be able to be used with um with die cutting it's it's like it's i mean it's incredible for die cutting all right did i accidentally run that through oh well it'll be okay it, it skipped let me go ahead and pop these pieces out of here I'm trying to i'm trying to get better in 2021 with cleaning out my dies before i put them away that's why that is why there we go. Maria wins a prize. We're going to have so many prizes at Staycation. Oh my goodness. So many prizes. Sea urchin. Yes, sea urchin, not Bermuda. I mean, who knows? We're due, we're due for some new... Uh, we are due for some new colors, so... Who knows? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop that to the side, and then what you're going to do, or what we are going to do, is we're going to take our little butterfly here, okay, and then you are going to take uh, the backer piece off. So you actually need to take this piece off, which can be a little bit tricky, because you're actually removing the adhesive from the opposite side. Do you see what I mean? So it's going to want to keep the adhesive here. See what I mean? It's going to want to keep it on this side. So what you'll have to do is you'll take like some sort of a little tool. I'll show you here. Let me see if I can get a close up. So you're gonna take a tool and you are going to just ever so gingerly lift up on this side. I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you and do it at the same time. See, see how I just, let's see. Can you see how that's now lifted? You probably won't be able to. So that's lifted now. So what you need to do and since you've been able to lift that to the other side, you'll be able to peel this off just fine. Okay? Because now it'll stick to the other side. So you're kind of peeling it off in reverse. Like you're like peeling a sticker off in reverse. Okay, so now you're just going to go ahead and remember this has a slight shadow to it. And we're just going to place that down and just burnish it. Okay, so see, now we're all burnished down, okay? Burnish, 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 get it all pushed down there, and then we're going to lift this off. And then you'll see, now you could do anything at this point. You could go ahead and, um, you could go ahead and pop foil on this. There's so much you could do. So you see how the adhesive is perfect? Look at how thin and beautiful that adhesive is. Oh, I love it. All right. So now you're going to grab your, uh, your Mestibule. Michael, we have to get a trademark on that. Don't tell anybody I said that. We're going to take our Mestibule instead of the Vestibule. This is our Mestibule. And we are going to take... What color did I say I want to use? Let's use the... Is it the Rainbow Sherbet we wanted to use? Yeah, we'll grab the Rainbow Sherbet. It does have a tape on the side. Okay. Peel that off. All right, and then once you open it, okay, you are going to, we can set it in there, I guess. You are going to take some sort of a very fluffy brush. This is the Galaxy brush. 
it's my favorite brush for this. I mean, I use the Galaxy brush for everything and look at how pretty it looks. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to lift up some of it. Do you see how it's on the edge there? And what I do is I just begin applying it like so. Okay. And you don't need a whole lot. You're just going to kind of really, really zhuzh it on there. And see how it can get very messy if you do not, if you not have a mestibule like me. All right, so we've got it on there now. Can tap this, uh, tap our brush out, and there's not a lot of mess because we uh, we have our mestibule, and we're gonna close our lid shake off any little pieces on the end it's not really it's really not that big of a deal and then let me show you here what I do is I take it out of here grab my grab my Brutus Monroe cloth and you just kind of buff it a little bit you want to get a lot of those little pieces off and now look oh my goodness it just it's just incredible I mean, it's, let me see if I can get you a close-up. Look at how all of those different colors, it's almost like a, it's so hard to explain this. You just really, you're just going to have to get it home. Because it is, I mean, it is just so incredible how it works. And you can, you know, you can go ahead and burnish it with your finger and make sure that everything's on there. But just imagine the things you can do. Um, they are like gilding flakes, yep. But all sorts of different beautiful colors. just beautiful isn't that just I mean it's just stunning and unfortunately the blue light is making it hard for you to see all right so next um, we're gonna do one more and I think I think for our next one for our next trick I think we are going to do the heart again um, yeah we'll do this heart we'll just do the outline of a heart and I really want to use this dark one so this one is I've been looking at this one golden onyx I've been looking at this one kind of all the whole the whole time and I want to use a lighter color so I think we're gonna use <clears throat> this is um, C I do know the name of this one nope yeah, C. So I want to use a lighter color and see what the darker shades do on the lighter colors. It doesn't make too, too much of a mess. You just got to keep it contained. As long as you... Now, I can tell you earlier, I did it on the table. Never again. <laughs> don't don't uh, use your... Don't, don't use your Aurora Flakes on the table. Take it from me. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, a sheet of, and this is another way that you can use it that I thought was really cool. If you don't have the Brutus Renault coverall adhesive, I mean, you can use any coverall adhesive. Uh, I just prefer the Brutus Renault one because, I mean, duh. But uh, I'm going to use for this one the Brutus Monroe. This is something else that's, well, newish. It's not super new. It came out with our, it came out with our new adhesive line. Uh, this is the, uh, these are the foam sheets. It's really, really great. Lagoon or C? I think it's... Oh, it might be... It might be Lagoon. Wait. It might be... It might be, um... Let's see. It might be Lagoon. I think it's C though. It might be Lagoon though. I just sent <clears throat> Michael. I just sent you a picture, so you'll be able to identify it. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna take the heart again. Pop that on our foam sheets. Lagoon. It's Lagoon, not C. It is Lagoon. Whew. I tell you. Thank goodness the Lord granted me the ability to have an incredible staff because if I didn't have that staff 
and you'll have to excuse me. I promise you, I know every single product we have at Producer Nerd. We just have a, we just have quite a few now. We just have quite a few. But it is Lagoon. It is Lagoon. Michael, so does the company that makes it. <laughs> Would work with tissue tape if you want. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I brought... Oh, I didn't bring that. Did I bring that down? I thought I did. I thought I did because I wanted to show you. Well, I'll be darned. Oh, I did. <laughs> we can use this too. We'll try that too. Um, and if you did, you look. You might get a whole entire. You may very well get a whole entire roll of this in your. You might want to check your check your staycation. You might get a whole roll. To try. You just might. All right. I got lost in my second. Oh. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, I I. I'm trying to get better. All right, so now we're going to take our piece of Lagoon. We play a game every day called Dave. Yes, that too. That too. Just got crazy star. In the snow? What snow? Is it snowing out there? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, foam heart. Uh, the yes, it is the Mary Poppins box. All right, might have a bump on it. Oh my goodness! Okay, so we're just gonna pop that right in the center there. I'm excited to see what these darker ones do on lighter paper. All right, so we're gonna pop that over to the side. Grab our Mestibule. And don't worry, your Mestibule is... You want to collect all of these because you'll have a new color eventually. You know what I mean? And Icy. Hmm. I'll have to look. Alright. So now we're going to take some of the... What's this one? <clears throat> Golden Onyx. That's okay. It's good. It's a, it's a good box. There's lots in there. Alright, so now we're going to take the... Let's see. Oh my goodness. If that is doesn't say Happy New Year, I don't know what does. We could actually probably tap some of that on there. Alright, so we're going to grab our brush. And we're just going to tap it down. So, I like to say start with like two kind of grabs... And then go in from there. That's generally enough. Oh my word. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna move this guy out of the way because it's gonna it could get real messy real quick. All right, I'm going to grab just a little bit more, just for good measure. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to put our brush to the side. Tap off a little bit of this, put this to the side. Okay. All right, are you ready? We're going to tap this off. Tap, tap, tap. Take our vestibule out of here. All right. And then you'll see, you can see there's still a bunch on here. So now I'm going to grab the Brutus Monroe cloth. This is the squeaky clean microfiber cloth. Oh my word. It just gets better every time. This is incredible. And then it just all wipes off. Let me again get... Look. 
It's almost like stone. It's really hard to explain. Can you see that? It's almost like stone. Like granite almost. That's incredible. That's really cool. Okay. So let's do a little recap here. Hold on one moment. Just cleaning out my brush a little bit. All right. So let's do a little recap. So we have, it is very much, like, it's, it's incredible. So this is the first one and it's not sticky. It's really cool. So the first one we used was the, and it has a little bit, I don't know if you can notice, but it has a little bit of the um, lighter colors in it too. Just because of what was left in the vestibule. I would say clean out your vestibule in between if you don't want, um, if you don't want a whole bunch of color in there. So this was the golden onyx. And then for this one, Let me do them in order. Well, we'll do the ones that I did earlier. This one is the Jade Gold. And my goodness. See that, like, green? It's really, really pretty. Then this guy is the Rainbow Sherbert. It does. It's very much like Mercury Glass. And I'm sure that you all will figure out a million different ways to use this. And then this last one is called Confetti. This might be my favorite. I'm hoping you can see the colors. Like, look at... There you go. Look at... It's like Mar... I don't know. It's really hard to explain. But it's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. It really is. It's absolutely stunning. All right. So that's everything that I have for y'all this evening. I hope you had fun. I sure did. Um, I'm going to be using these a lot more on a whole bunch of different, uh, other items. I don't know. I, I just am really excited to experiment with them. They are just so cool. I bet you could use these in resin. I have not, I mean, I'm sure that people have used them in resin. But, uh, a little bit goes a very, very long way. Very, very long way. Right? Okay, so let's go ahead. We have to... Unfortunately, the, the desk got messy, so you know what that means. It's tough, but someone's got to do it. I'm going to have to use some of the chocolate-covered cherry squeaky clean. I don't have a choice. What do you want me to do? I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. I have to use it. And I also don't have a choice. I have to spray a little cinnamon heart in the air. I just, it's, I don't have a choice. I don't, I want to make sure that, I want to maintain a very clean work surface. We don't have an, we don't have any other option. We just don't. Oh my goodness, it smells, it smells so good in here right now. I mean, my goodness, it smells like um, chocolate covered cherries and cinnamon and everything that is delicious in the world is what, it, is what it smells like in here right now. It smells like everything that is good in the world is, is what it smells like. It is out of this, oh my goodness, it smells so good. All right, so that is everything that I have for you all this evening. I cannot wait to see um, what goodies you all pick up because I see um, there's quite a few of you that are getting the um, that are getting the sprinklets tonight, and quite a few of you are getting the uh, cosmic shimmer. I'm just I get so excited to see what y'all do with everything. So it's a, it's it's just so much fun. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Oh, embossing ink. I bet it would work well with embossing ink. You'll have to try it. Kara, I know you love to experiment, just like me. So you'll have to get back to us. <laughs> if you get any of them, you'll have to let me know what it looks like. Uh, so thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for being a part of my life. I adore each and every one of you. Thank you for uh, creating with me tonight. Remember to create something every single day. Whether that is uh, a really, really pretty, really, really fun, uh, shining, shimmering, splendid background. Or... Your own ending. I appreciate... Took back the mother-in-law vacuum and got me some goodies. 
she was she was she was standing there pretty uh she was standing pretty um pretty uh diligently at the cash wrap today yes uh, did you hear benny's did you hear benny's um caller so thank you all so much remember to create something every single day whether that is your own shining shimmering splendid background or your own ending i appreciate you all so much and i will see you all tomorrow